This is Tango y Pide. Thank you very much. Well, as you may know, I've been traveling. And since I've been traveling, I've bought some coins. Let's see if you guys where from. I got a half dollar coin from where? From the USA, very well. And you are an intelligent audience. I bought a Mexican coin from Mexico, great. And the Chinese coin? I bought it here in Chinatown. Can you check them? Are they real coins? So now let's see. I'll give you the ones. And you will do magic, not me. Mexican coin, Chinese coin, and a half dollar, okay? I'll take out one of these coins from my pockets. And I'll take it to my pocket, and you will have to guess which one I have taken. I'll do it fast. I take out a coin, I take it to my pocket. Which coin have I taken out? The half dollar coin, very well. I think I haven't done it so fast. If you could see it, I do much faster this time. Let's see. I take the Mexican coin and Chinese coin to my right hand. Which coin do I have in my left hand? The half dollar coin. Okay, but if you tap my hand with one and on the other hand, now I have a half dollar in my right hand and the Chinese and Mexican in my left hand. Maybe I did it a little bit fast, and this is why you couldn't follow me. I'll do it again. This time I'll take the Mexican and Chinese coin to my pocket. Which one do I have in my hand? The half dollar. But if you tap my hand, the half dollar coin turns into a Mexican and Chinese coin, and the half dollar is in my pocket. Chinese, Mexican, and half dollar coin. Okay? You are a bit confused, aren't you? Let's do it one more time. I'll pick up the half dollar coin with my right hand, but now I have the Mexican coin and Chinese coin here, and half dollar coin in my left hand, okay? Let's finish with it because I see you are getting a bit bored. I'll pick the half dollar coin and I'll put it in my pockets. But what happens if you tap my hand? What happens? The half dollar coins goes back to my left hand, and I have the Chinese and Mexican coin in my pockets. Can you check? Do it thoroughly. And this is how we end up again with a half dollar coin, a Mexican coin, and a Chinese coin. Thank you very much.